It's July the 14th. We are approaching the pinnacle of British summertime. And uh, believe it or not, this is actually a break in the cloud. So we can actually see a nice clear shot of the aqueduct here. Looking a little bit wetter than it normally is. And having a canal run across it, it normally looks pretty wet to be fair. Hello there folks, I'm Dan Brown from Sort of Interesting and yes I am out here enjoying an absolutely lovely walk in these conditions. Now you may know in the past I've tried to raise the alarm in some of my boat life videos about over romanticising the canals and seeing all of this footage of these long lazy beautiful sunny summer's days and of course one of my favourite days ever, a beautiful snow covered winter's day when the reality is you will have possibly scattered throughout the year at random, such as here in July, some of these obnoxiously wet periods. We've had flooding all around the region over the last two weeks of North Wales and Shropshire. I know it's been going on in other parts of the country and uh, that comes after about a three week heat wave that was itself extraordinary to behold. Um, so yeah, as always, I mean, how is this? How is it this dark under the trees? Uh, flipping midday in July. What's going on here? <laughs> it probably won't surprise you to know that I haven't bumped into anybody else out and about while I've been down here by the river and that's something that I've spoken about before actually that it surprises me that an area that is usually as beautiful and inviting and welcoming as this with so many wonderful features around can so often outside of the key tourist times of say the weekends and bank holidays be almost utterly, not abandoned, but just empty, just desolate of humanity. And I mean, I've been down here at say seven o'clock in the evening on an absolutely beautiful weekday. And it's like, everybody's given up by the time that they've got to the car at the end of the working day. The fact that this place is on the doorstep for well, tens of thousands of people, I would say, live within 15 to 20 minutes of here, of this exact spot, I'd say almost. And yet you can come down here on a beautiful evening and sometimes walk around for half an hour, maybe more, before you see your first human. Again, I sort of, in some respects, I enjoy it as a private playground that I can run around and do my filming in in relative peace and make a fool of myself doing 10 takes to camera saying the same thing slightly differently because I, I just don't quite like the sound of my screechy voice in each take. But equally, there's something a little bit sad about the fact that there's nobody else enjoying it and well it's going unappreciated for much of the week. Even after a week or two of pretty heavy rainfall because it's still midsummer the water level is actually surprisingly low I'd say compared to obviously the prolonged gathering and pounding by the elements that a full winter of wet weather brings. Well my friends that is a significant amount of water compared to the middle of summer when I often hop across the stones sticking out of the surface of the river. What an absolutely beautiful day though. Now you can choose whether to believe this or not, but had we got here maybe half an hour ago, we would struggle to see the hilltops that make the horizon along here. Whew. Sorry, I'm slightly out of breath as I'm recording this, as my girlfriend's messaged me and asked if I can take her to work pretty soon. So uh, I've had to pick up my pace from uh, running around trying to get clips. There's a part of me that's almost disappointed I didn't get here in the really bad weather where we couldn't see anything at all from here. But at the same time, I'm also happy to use uh, my girlfriend wanting a lift to work as an excuse for me to get back in before the next lot of proper rainfall comes. It's forecast around 50 minutes. So uh, yeah, thanks for joining me. I know this has been a particularly strange sort of video, more of a, an actual vlog than an actual real life thought out sensible video. God, who would have thought I'd ever produce something rubbish? Anyway, thank you so much for tuning in. Please do check out my books about boat life if you're interested in helping me out and seeing more from the wonderful canals. And uh, well, until the next time, my friends, keep it interesting, keep it boat worthy, and of course, my friends, farewell. <laughs>